Russia's ambassador to the United States says Washington's decision to send long-range attack M's missiles to Ukraine was a grave mistake that will have serious consequences. The White House has confirmed, it confirmed on Tuesday in fact, that it had recently provided Kyiv with a type of attack M capable of hitting targets up to 165 kilometers away. Heading out of the US, Russia's envoy said, and I'm quoting here, the consequences of this step, which will deliberately be hidden from the public, will be of the most serious nature. President Vladimir Zelensky also confirmed his forces used the attack hems, and Ukrainian military reported striking two air bases in the territory now controlled by Russia. Ukrainian special forces said nine helicopters, an air defense missile launcher, runways, and other equipment had been destroyed near Luhansk and Berdyansk. Ukraine had repeatedly asked the U.S. administration of, for the attack hems and pledged not to use inside Russian territory. It said the powerful weapons would alter the course of the 20-month-old war that Russia launched. It remains to be seen how much of an advantage the missile system will give Ukraine. Kyiv officials have said the missile system will push Russia to move its key air assets far from the front lines. The Kremlin has said that the U.S. supplies of attack M's missiles and Abrams tanks to Ukraine will not change the situation on the battlefield. The Russian envoy stated U.S. is pushing for a direct conflict between NATO and Moscow. Some experts view the Russia-Ukraine war as a manifestation of the renewed geopolitical rivalry between major world powers. And let's say Moscow is seeking to alter the Western-led system prevailing since the end of the Cold War. Western allies say the war has broken the entire security architecture built patiently on the European continent over many decades. The 31-nation NATO alliance says it is doing everything possible to avert a war similar to the one that ravaged Europe 80 years ago. Despite the United States and allies' continued ambitious efforts to bolster the Ukrainians, there are no signs of an endgame in the war.